What's going on everyone? Welcome to Full Send SRT. My name is Caden and today we're going to be going over the 1999 Honda Civic. Now if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and let's get right into the 1999 Honda Civic Gold Edition. Now we're going to be starting on the exterior of the vehicle, then we are going to make our way into the interior, and then we're going to go on a ride. So let's start at the front of the vehicle. As you can see, this is the silver edition. We got the silver Honda emblem right at the front with this really aggressive front bumper. We have the integrated lip spoiler in the bottom. It needs a lot of air intake because this engine is such a big engine. If we look at a little bit lower, we have the front plate cover. Then we have a big, massive spoiler. It really helps to cut that air, makes this thing really aerodynamic. We have a toaster plug-in right at the bottom here. And then as you look, we can see the updated Honda lights. They look really aggressive on this vehicle looks really good we have minor paint damage on the front that's because it's been to the track so many times and sometimes you know rocks get flung up at the track see this really aggressive hood it looks really good on this vehicle as well as we take a look at the front bumper as well you can see we have more lines for aerodynamics as well we have 22 inch rims custom uh specifically fit for this vehicle uh they're really cool they're like a bronze color and then we have like a super cool rim covering it as well there's barely any rubber on this vehicle because the rims are just so big as we look to the side of the vehicle you can see we have more lines for aerodynamics as well this vehicle came without the carbon fiber package when it was first made as well now one of the coolest features on this vehicle is it actually can unlock with the press of a button you just press the unlock button right here and opens right up super cool we also have keyless entry as well you just have to you know just hold the the key by the door and it, it just goes open like that just like any brand new vehicle now as we look at the back we have a massive spoiler like i said this vehicle needs all the downforce that it can get because of it just has so much power this vehicle would literally fly if it didn't have this big spoiler so thank god for that it came stock actually i'm surprised it doesn't have carbon fiber but that will do for now we have the lamborghini logo on the back here and then where's the exhaust oh we have a big exhaust pipe this thing is actually straight pipe that's not a muffler that's a supercharger right here but this thing sounds so good i'll get a little startup for you guys and then we have a tow hitch because we're gonna have to tow some mustangs out of the ditch okay so all those noises was actually the supercharger kicking in sounds really good so there's the exterior of the honda civic let's get into the interior and check it out there's a lot of options in this interior that you've probably never seen before so here we are in the interior of the 1999 honda civic you can see we have some really uh, sporty tan seats you can see just how thick these bolsters are it really keeps you on position when that supercharger kicks in now we went all cloth with the seats because that actually saves weight as opposed to leather we have a full cloth roof as well no sunroof here we're all about performance we have a fully leather wrapped steering wheel it looks really good really custom uh, this was actually a rare option not seen in too many 1999 honda civics you can see the dash goes all the way up to 240 and that is miles per hour we don't have any big screens on the center console because a uh, honda really wanted to make this vehicle look timeless because they knew in about 30 years you know the screens would be outdated so they just kept a normal cd player we have a fully alligator wrap dash it's really custom for this vehicle this option was about 15,000. and then to the side we also have power windows which is pretty rare on this vehicle so guys now we're going to start up this thing uh trying to listen for that supercharger whine it really sounds good uh so here we go listen to this i'll start it up right here <laughs> holy moly honestly i've been waiting all day to drive this safety first as you know uh but let's take it on a drive you can notice that we have a light right above me as well not too many vehicles have that it's pretty sweet like i said power windows and they actually work uh which is really impressive actually i gotta show you I actually got to show you the gauge, or the, the whatever this is called here. There's 473 miles on this thing. That is unbelievable. 473,000 miles and this thing still runs absolutely perfectly. There's only some minor, you know, noises coming from the back and underneath the vehicle. But, you know, this vehicle doesn't have brakes, but that's okay. The main point is, is that it runs and it runs nice. And it's actually pretty quick. Okay, so we're just going to go on a short little drive because the owner told me that he didn't want me to put too many kilometers or miles on this thing just because it is that rare of a vehicle. So let's throw this thing in drive. Let's hit the road. 
vehicle, right away you'll notice that the steering is absolutely insanely precise. Like as soon as you turn the wheel, you actually move. So I'm gonna show you the turn signal actually working. You can probably hear it. it they work, they work. So I'm gonna rip out of this corner just to my right here and show you just how well this thing actually handles and how quick it accelerates. And just wash my seat as it goes back as well, ready? <laughs> Holy moly, this thing does not disappoint when I drive it, you know. It doesn't fail to put a smile on my face. Right as soon as you put the pedals down, you instantly feel the supercharger kick up. Uh, what's really nice about this vehicle is just how reliable it actually is. You know, 700,000 kilometers and it's still going strong. Now, I didn't record it, but I actually went toe to toe with a Lamborghini Aventador, uh, the new F8, the Lamborghini Aventador F8, or was that? No, it was the Aventador SF90. And I was actually pretty close with it up till about 170 miles an hour. That's when he kind of took off and beat me, but this thing came really close. Now, let's talk about the price of this vehicle. This vehicle is about $1,000, uh, which may be out of some of your budgets. Uh, just listen, you hear that? And the wheel only shakes a little bit as you come to a stop, but this thing is really good on gas. But yeah, the price is about $1,000. So it, it might be out of the price range for some of you, but if it's not, I really recommend this vehicle. Like I said, the turn signals work, the power windows work, the vehicle drives, and it's supercharged. Now the amount of respect and women you may pick up driving this thing is unbelievable. Uh, way more respect than I get in my SRT. People absolutely just stop and stare anytime I drive this thing around. So I don't like all the attention I really get in it. So if you don't like the attention, don't buy one of these actually. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the review guys. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Full side SRT, sign off. Peace.